We'll sing a love song now, but it's one of the most obscure love songs I've ever written. Um, I've been married to my wife for a long, long time, and I've written her dozens and dozens of love songs, but this one has to be the most obscure because it's not written from the, the very front end of love when you first meet, and she's the greatest thing that ever walked into your life, and you're the greatest thing that walked into her life, and the bed of roses is stretching off into the future. Not from there, I didn't write it from there. I also didn't write it from the other end of love, where I have a teetering stack of songs, unfortunately, where your, your heart's as broken as it's ever gonna be, and she was the worst thing that ever happened to you, and you don't know how you're gonna get through another day. I've got tons from down there, you know? But it's the big middle part I wrote this one in, and that's the part where, you know, if you lose sight of one another in that big middle part, you're down that other end of love before you can blink. And so I tried very hard this time around. I've been married twice, this is my second time. I don't want to go for three, so I try to pay a lot of attention in the big middle part now, and we managed to get through it. So even after you hear this song, don't worry, we're just having a little bit of trouble about eight years ago, and we're still together, thank you very much, and doing just fine. So it's a love song for Beth called The Waking Hour. Thank you. 